HTML has different elements or selectors that you can add styles to, like the paragraph tag or the body tag. But one of the many cool things with CSS and CSS3 is that you can make up your own selector. And these are called ID selectors or a class selector. This video is on the class selector and how it's made and used. Class selectors are used whenever you have several different elements that may use the same styling. Let's say you want to style a few of the different paragraphs, but not all the paragraphs in your document. Or you want to style several H1 tags, but not all the H1 tags in your document. And that's where the class selectors come in at. And you may have noticed that all of these examples of a class selector begins with a dot. And here's what the CSS code will look like. Kind of a basic HTML5 document here. And I've got the CSS code right up here in the head section in between the opening and closing style tags. Now, I've got a few different types in here, but these are all three of these are class selectors. As you can see, this one begins with a dot. This one begins with a dot, but actually it is specifically for the P tag or the paragraph tag. Likewise with this one. Now, the way this is set up here, hopefully to avoid some confusion anyway is that everything in the content down here in the body section that use the class selector center will be centered and the text will be blue just like we've got right here now you can also specify a particular HTML element like your paragraph tag or your h1 tag or even your body tag that should be affected by the class and that's demonstrated right here where we have the HTML element for the paragraph tag, that's the P, right in front of the class selector center. So if we're using the class selector center along with the paragraph tag as defined down here, then this content in this paragraph will not be centered and blue. Instead, it will take on this particular styling right here. It'll be centered and gold. Now let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like here. That might help a little bit. I'll open this up right here. So this bottom one here, where we've got the paragraph tag and the class selector center. And as you can see here too, by the way, that the dot is not included down here, only up here in the styling. But down here, whenever we write out the class selector center for this particular paragraph tag, then since it's defined up here as being centered in gold, that's why we're looking at it right here. Otherwise, if we did not have the class selector center defined for a particular element, in this case, the paragraph tag, then it would take on the styling of right down here, just the center. The same way that the H1 tag is right here. Because as you can see, there's not a particular class selector center up here for the H1 tag. So as this is written down here for the H1 class selector center, it's taking on the styling of just this guy right here. Let me further demonstrate that by just deleting this guy right here altogether and save that. And that way this guy right down here that was taking on the characteristics of the P dot center class selector, it will now take on the stylings of just the center class selector, which is centered in blue, just like this guy right here. So let's go ahead and save this. And there you go. And I went ahead and added this p dot center root just to let you know that yes you can in fact make up your own class selectors even if it means making up your own word in the process and as we look down here the p class center root that's this middle one right here where we've got it taking on the styling of being centered and red the beauty of using a class selector like these or any class selector for that matter is that you can use it on several different HTML elements. Now, if this were an ID selector, you could only use it on one HTML element, but that's the making of a different video. That's gonna bring to a close this video on class selectors in CSS and CSS3. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.